Pokemon Home compatibility for Scarlet and Violet has officially been released. And with that, including the insane amount of awesome new Pokemon that you can transfer you to your games, this app holds some insane secrets that many still don't know about at all. But have no fear. Today, I'll take you through a journey to make sure that you are using Pokemon Home to its fullest potential. After watching this video, you'll know how to successfully bypass the Pokemon Go transfer lock. Acquire the super rare mythical Pokemon only available in Pokemon Home. And finally, make sure to stick around. I've got a special method that will ensure that you can trade for any shiny or legendary you're looking for in the GTS. What's going on, y'all? Mr. Dr. Professor Titan here, and I'm all about helping you enhance your Pokemon adventure. Along with that, I do do some streaming and make some Pokemon content videos, along with some TCG unboxing. So if you don't mind leaving a like, subscribing to the channel. We're popping out new Pokemon videos every week, including, of course, a ton of super helpful tutorials to better your Pokemon journey. Also know that everything I discuss in the video can be utilized for both the free and the paid version of Pokemon Home, but there are some advantages for having the paid app with these methods that I discuss, but it's really all about just having more Pokemon storage and being able to trade more Pokemon, so just keep that in mind when watching this bit. All right, y'all, this first secret is a huge one. So have you ever noticed when you transfer a Pokemon from Pokemon Go into Pokemon Home, and then from Pokemon Home into Scarlet and Violet, it's like, hold up, you can't transfer this Pokemon to this game. And you're like, wait, yeah, I can. It's supposed to be able to be transferred. What the heck? I don't know why, but the Pokemon company has restricted these transfers unless you have them registered in your Pokedex. But not everyone has a spare Hoopa lying around, right? Well. Me and my partner actually were able to figure out a way where I transferred my Hoopa from Pokemon Go to Pokemon Home, and then I traded it from my home account to theirs. They were able to actually transfer it then from their home into their mainline game of Pokemon Scarlet. From there, we just set up a trade to transfer over that Hoopa to my game, and voila! I was able to successfully acquire my Pokemon Go captured Hoopa in my Pokemon Scarlet. I also know that there are some other videos online that say that you can open up a second Pokemon Home account to transfer it over to that home and then into a game. This may work if you don't have two people to sort of trade with. Don't quote me on it though, feel free to go do your own research. I haven't tried this out specifically, but hey, if it works, it works. I'd say that's a feature for sure. The next secret is that there are some insanely cool mythical Pokemon available to acquire in the Pokemon Home app by just having the app. First, if you transfer a Pokemon from Pokemon Go to Pokemon Home, you can get an exclusive Melmetal that is able to Gigantamax. No other Melmetal in the games until now has been able to G-Max into this specific form. This is the only way to acquire this Pokemon, and I think it is awesome. So feel free to just download Pokemon Go if you haven't played it in a while, hop open home, connect the two together, and get your super awesome Melmetal. Along with the G-Max Melmetal, you can acquire an exclusive Magearna strictly found in Pokemon Home. It does require a lot of work as you have to register each Pokemon up to Eternatus, which is number 890. And yes, this does include Pokemon like Arceus and Shaman, but it is nice that you no longer have to have it as a full living dex. This was the original rule, but Pokemon has since changed that. So you can just transfer Pokemon in and touch trade as well to acquire them in your Pokedex. And then from there, once you have 890 Pokemon, you'll get the Magearna. Now, if you're like, sheesh, that's so many Pokemon, I'll never be able to acquire that many. I have some tips for you. If you use Pokemon Go, if you use the GTS and random trading in Pokemon Home, and if you pay for Pokemon Home and transfer Pokemon up from your older games, I found these three ways to be the fastest to complete the full Pokedex. So feel free to try those out. It definitely still takes some time, but hey, it's a super exclusive Pokemon and be truly a Pokemon master, you gotta have it in the collection. Before the final secret here, just one quick thing I wanna share with y'all, it's a super simple tip. You can assign the OT names from your mainline games in Pokemon Home with a little cap icon. Just click on the OT when you click a Pokemon that you've actually captured in one of your games. And then from there, it'll assign a little cap icon to every other Pokemon that you have also actually caught specifically for yourself. Super cool to me, really helped with organization, so just wanted to make sure I mentioned that in this bit as well. And now, the final secret on how to acquire insane shiny and legendary Pokemon 
in Pokemon Home. Y'all have used this method a countless number of times and I'm always cashing out on beautiful shiny Pokemon, including shiny legendaries as well. So first things first is I want you to think about what Pokemon right now are the rarest to catch in the mainline games. So Legends Arceus, right? Enamorous. You only get one of those when you play the entire game. Mirrodon, Paradon. You only get technically one to trade in those games after playing the entire game. These Pokemon are sort of the Pokemon that are in the hot seat right now for the GTS, right? So what you want to do is you kind of want to just acquire as many of those Pokemon as you can. Maybe you don't have a Pokemon that people are going to trade you for a Mirrodon or a Caradon or Namorous right now, right? But if you play Pokemon Go or if you played Arceus and you've got some spare shinies, those shinies may be rare enough that people will still trade you those legendary Pokemon for that shiny. I highly recommend transferring up those Pokemon into Pokemon Home and then popping them into the GTS to see if people will trade you for those legendaries. With that, from there, you can just click on the legendary Pokemon such as Enamorous that you want to search for what Pokemon you can trade it for. You'll be able to see a ton of beautiful shiny Pokemon, including some shiny legendaries that you can trade with just a regular legendary Pokemon. Highly recommend, and you're just going to get more and more awesome shiny Pokemon for your collection. Thanks so much for watching the video, y'all. I truly hope that you learned something new. Again, if you don't mind, please support the channel by leaving a like, subscribing to the channel, at Mr. Dr. Professor Titan. I'll be popping out new Pokemon videos every single week, so make sure to stay tuned and maybe you'll learn something new. Thanks so much!